beautiful and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video where we are going to do a full face of affordable makeup. This is something that I've been wanting to do for a really really long time and I'm super excited to be diving into some new things but mostly like old favorites like tried and true things that I'll be able to use again and to just talk about again because there's a lot of really good affordable makeup out there and if you haven't been there before if this is your first video here hello my name is Angie I am such a lover of beauty makeup I love everything beauty makeup related especially a little bit more on the colorful side and we are definitely diving in to some colorful affordable options today and if you want to see some more makeup content don't forget to subscribe because I upload five videos a week <laughs> This video is also extra exciting for me because parts of this video is in collaboration with Colourpop, which is mind-blowing to me. Colourpop has been one of my favorite brands for such a long time. I have bought a lot of things from Colourpop, I've received some things in PR, but overall I've just been a very happy customer at Colourpop for so many years. So to be able to work with them on a video like this is just so exciting to me because it's just really one of my favorite brands and it's just a plus that they're also very colorful and also very affordable. So I'm going to be talking about some really really good Colourpop favorites today, but I'm also going to be using some other affordable options as well. This is not going to be a full face of Colourpop, but I'm going to talk about some Colourpop products that I really really enjoy and if you want to see like a best and worst of Colourpop or like a full face of Colourpop or something like that in the future do let me know because we could talk even more about Colourpop because I have some of my absolute holy grails are from Colourpop and that's why saying yes to this collaboration was so easy. So thank you so much Colourpop for sponsoring parts of this video now let's zoom in and we can start. Okay, so we are starting with base and I am going to be using the pretty fresh one. This is the Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. They do have a foundation as well. This is from Colourpop, but I really, really, really like this tinted moisturizer and I really love this one when I want a sheer coverage. I'm going to take my ring off because I like applying this one the most with my hands. So I'm actually going to be squirting some out. I will link everything that I'm talking about down in the description box in case you're wondering about anything. I've got this in a medium 9W and I have been um I have been scrubbing my face a little bit so my face is quite a bit lighter than um, my like my neck and my chest is. I think you can tell a little bit if you look here and then here. So it's good that this one is a medium because otherwise I think my face would look a little ghostly. But I've been loving this tinted moisturizer for years and I'm happy to be able to use it again. So I'm just gonna work this in and I'm gonna let it set for a little bit. And it gives a sheer coverage that I just feel looks very healthy when you don't wanna have like a full makeup -y look. I will say though, I don't like it as much with like a sponge because I feel like it needs to be like worked into the skin, just like a moisturizer would need, so to speak. It really does look better. So I let this sink in a little bit and now it just feels like I've applied skincare. My face isn't greasy, it's just hydrated and nice and I really like how this one looks and how it feels. It looks like my skin because it is a very sheer sheer coverage. I actually did buy this one. This is the Colourpop uh, Pretty Fresh Pressed Face Powder. I have bought uh, most of the things I'm going to be talking about today except one thing. I'm, I will talk about that when we get there but all of these things are bought by me even though <laughs> parts of this video is uh, sponsored by Colourpop. I actually chose things that I've, I bought myself. So I did buy this powder and this is also why I wanted to use something for my foundation that I knew. Like I know how this tinted moisturizer works. So I'm not like, if I don't like the powder, I'll know it's not the foundation. I got mine in light eight. I bought this at Ulta. There was not that many shades available. Uh, like most of them were sold out. I think this might be good. I think this has a little coverage to it. So I thought it would be really good with something that's sheer coverage. I also got the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. A lot of you have been recommending this for me. I will say though, looking at this one, you said that this was like similar to the um, Banana Powder by NYX. Oh my god, I was going to show you what it looks like, but it's all pan. But I think that, yeah, you can see the NYX one is a little darker. So we'll see how this is under the eyes. And because I'm using two new powders. I'm also going to use a concealer that I know and that I really enjoy. And this is the new Maybelline concealer that 30 hour, what's it called? Superstay. <laughs> I really do enjoy this concealer. And this concealer is perfect if you're doing like a fresh coverage or light coverage that I'm doing today, because this concealer is very thin. 
and skin like it has a little bit of a satin texture and i think it wears beautifully but it's a medium coverage i personally don't like having a sheer tinted moisturizer or like a skin tint and then like a full coverage concealer i don't like how that looks i think it looks like i think the contrast between the coverage is just a little bit too much for me i do have a little something here i don't know if it's a pimple or if it's me accidentally scratching myself with my nails it's happened it's happened so i'm gonna see if i can like how that's gonna look after the powder i'm not gonna put any concealer on same with my nose i had a little redness on my nose and i'm not gonna put any extra on there we're gonna see how the powder is uh, performing so i'm gonna use a brush right am i gonna use a, like a big brush or like a smaller one i think i'm gonna use a smaller one and just like buff this in I'm taking very little and I'm just in small buffing motions. Huh, I like it. And this seemed to be a good color. It's a little coverage, but nothing too much. And my skin is looking matte and a little blurred. It didn't entirely cover this, of course, and there's still a little redness left on this side. I do feel, though, that it turned me a little lighter than I am, but we are going to use a bronzer, so hopefully it will all <laughs> work out at the end. But let's use a little bit of this powder just under my eyes, and we'll see if this is as good as you say it is, or if you've been fooling me. <laughs> hmm. Well, it is brightening gonna have to see how I feel about that powder. I will say that the NYX one has a little bit more of a color to it. It, it like has a little bit of almost not coverage but a little bit more of a color to it. But I like it. So far so good. I'm gonna do my brows because brows are boring and we can get on to the bronzer because I feel like I need a little bit of warmth back to my skin. I feel like this powder is maybe a smidgen too light for me. I think we're gonna do some bronzer because I need to get a little bit of my color back to my face. I don't think it's that bad, but just a little bit. I'm actually gonna be using this one. This is my first impression of this one. This is from Wet n Wild and this is the Color Icon Bronzer and it is in Palm Beach Ready and it is a shimmery bronzer. I really like a shimmery bronzer, but I think that it like, it can go, <laughs> it can go bad real fast. Um, but it can also be totally beautiful, but let's, that is a cat hair, but let's see how this one is. I'm just going to buff it a little bit over here. And we'll see what kind of a, oh yeah, that is glowy, but I kind of like it. Maybe I shouldn't be bronzing up too much then because it might be super, super glowy. No, it doesn't smell like anything. I thought it did. I was fooled by my own nose. Is that a little too glowy? Maybe. But I don't care. I love a glowy pour. We're going for the glowy pour life. I think it looks cute. I think it looks cute. Okay, there is no secret that the ColourPop Super Chic Formulas is my favorite makeup formula of all times. There, I said it. It's out. It's out in the world. This is my favorite formula of all times. It is truly such a wonderful formula. So I'm going to be using a, a highlighter and this one is in Flute Punch. They're doing some yard work outside. I don't know if you hear it. I'm, I'm hoping you don't. And then there is the uh, No Way. And this is a, a glowy pink cheek. I do prefer the glowy formula over the non-glowy <laughs> formula. But that's just because I am a, like I said, such a big fan of a glowy cheek. But I think I'm going to be not going in too wild with the blush. Just like a little bit on... The upper part of my cheekbones. I do think though that this is so beautiful. Like look at that little pink moment up here. If I'm gonna do pink, I need it to be a little warmer like this one and with a sheen. I really hope we get to see an orange like, -ish, like this but a warm orange, not a pinky coral, a warm orange glow like this. Hook me up or ask me, I'll help you do the perfect one. 
And we're doing some extra glow with the highlighter on the tippity top up here. Because who doesn't like to be a little extra glowy? And the Super Shock formula is just so stunning. It just looks so beautiful. I always do a little bit here as well. I'm gonna apply a little eye primer and we're gonna see how this yard work is <laughs> coming along because this is wild. I do have this Ultimate Eye Shadow and Base Primer by NYX. I'm actually kind of out of eye primers, so I really need to be purchasing some more eye primers. So we're doing that one today. <laughs> okay, so I think they moved on to a little further <laughs> down the road so that we can get this show on the road. We are gonna use two of my favorite Colourpop palettes. This is the Orchid You Not and the Mint To Be. We are gonna do something that's plummy, plummy like berry together with a pop of mint. Ugh, I'm already so excited. Love how I'm hyping myself up. I'm like, this is gonna be so amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it is though. Seriously, if you are into berry colors, this one is fantastic. I cannot like hype this one up enough. It's just so beautiful. I'm just gonna pop this. I'm using the Ada, this shade. I'm gonna pop this on like the entirety of the crease and then I'm gonna blend it out with this one here and I'm gonna deepen it up with this one in the corner. That is my plan. Look at that. Ugh. This is just such a beautiful palette. This was one of my favorite palettes from last year. And this is, this is the only thing that, out of all of the things that I'm using today, that got sent to me in PR. But this was on my wish list. I already said that I wanted to buy it. So I will say, <laughs> sometimes I'm lucky to just receive stuff that I'm already planning to buy. Not always though. <laughs> Not always. But oh boy, look at this. Look at that. Ugh. I swear a lot of the high-end brands, they're not even doing berry shadows as good as this palette. It is just truly so beautiful. Now I'm going in with that a little lighter color and I'm just gonna blend that on the edge. And we are gonna try and see if we can get a little bit of a diffused look. This is just a small buffing brush that I really enjoy for that. This is a, a BK Beauty 203. It is very good for buffing up edges if you are starting with the darker color and blending it out to a lighter one. I think I'm gonna do the same on the lower lash line and we'll do a pop of mint in the inner corner and up on the lid a bit. I don't think I'm gonna do like a cut crease Let's do it a little bit more diffused. You don't need to do a cut crease every time you want to do a pop of a different color. I know that the beauty community has been crazy about cut creases, as crazy as they are right now with that, like, you know, the cat-shaped eye. Oh my god, trends really do come and go, don't they? Trends really do come and go, but you can do really fun looks without having to be that precise. Okay, I'm using the darkest shade now to really deepen up this outer corner. But as you can tell, like it is like deep enough just as it is. But I think you can never go, <laughs> can never go too deep when it comes to eyeshadow. I love having a really deep outer corner and I just, oh, I love that. But I'm just using a little bit in my crease and a little bit in my outer corner. Just fading it in a little bit, keeping it a little bit on the outer side. Let's not totally take over this look, shall we? I was gonna say let's keep it a little bit more wearable, but I mean, I'm gonna go to the grocery store with this on, but I also think that makeup should be like fun. We should like not take it too seriously. Oh, I really, really love this palette. Okay, let's move in with this Mint To Be palette that I just think is such a beautiful palette. If you like mint colors and if you're like me and you like accentuating with like lighter shimmers and lighter pastels, I think we're gonna keep it... Hmm. I want to use a little bit of this that's like more on the greener side and maybe like this shimmer here. Am I gonna do, or maybe we'll do a little matte in my inner corners, but let me start with this one that's called Minty. 
So we we'll start with that one. I am gonna spray it because I do spray. I do spray all my shimmers. Uh, so I'm gonna spray it so that I can be more precise with it because spraying a shimmer allows you to be a little bit more precise with it it's like painting it on and also you're preventing a lot of the fallout that you might get otherwise so i'm just gonna put that on oh, look at that i'm just gonna put that on the upper part of the lid here and i'm gonna use the lighter shade on the lower lash line and I think I'm gonna use some of the matte in my inner corner and blending up here. If you have been on my channel for a bit you know that I am bananas for a matte inner corner. I think that is so so pretty and flattering especially when your eyes start to crinkle a little bit with age. A matte inner corner can be so incredibly flattering if that's what you're after. Okay this is that lighter one that is called Muitomami. And we are just doing that on the lower lash line. You can see it's a little lighter and it's not as like sparkly uh, as the top lash one. Wow, I love this combo. Okay, for the inner corners, we're going to use this first pastel matte here in the palette that is called Get Fresh. And I am going to put that in my inner corners. I love that. And I'm just going to blend it a little bit up here on the edge so it meets with the berry and the shimmer that we had here. So let me do a little mascara and we can see how this eye look is before lashes. But I actually did go and buy a pair of lashes at the drugstore. I don't usually do that, but I feel like lashes at the drugstore, the more I've looked at them, they've become really good with time. So I'm going to try out a new pair today. I'm actually really excited. Let me do a little bit of eyeliner. This is Fresh by LA Girl. I had to look at the name again because I have the memory. Of, I was going to say an elephant, but like the opposite. What would I be then? The, the, the memory of an ant. They are at it with the weed hacker again. Mmm, love that for me. I am gonna put on a lip liner. This is the NYX lip liner in Nude Beige. Can you tell how much I've been loving this one? This is such a good lip liner. So, let me do this one and I can use one of my absolute favorite lipsticks of the drugstore ever. And then we can try some new lashes. I got these from Ardell. These are lash contour sculpt and define your eyes. It's called Outer Volume, and I love that. So I put the lashes on on one side so far. I really, really do like them. I actually usually use the Physicians Formula Liquid Liner, and I just use it for the lash band. So I will, like, cover up the glue with a liner just to make it, like, flow a little bit better. Because nobody wants to see the gap and nobody wants to see like any glue. I hope these are sitting on correctly. I did cut off quite a bit. I probably cut up like a centimeter or a centimeter and a half. Because I wanted to have the definition on the outer part of the lash. You can see like with and without lashes. Really do like them. Let's go in with an oldie but a goodie. This is the Colory Shine by L'Oreal. And... Mm, these are still available in store. I saw them... Mm, last time I was at the drugstore. This one is called, called Hot IRL. And I know that these shades have different names in the US. So I will say I do like I have owned several of these. And I still own several of these. And I will say the consistency of all of them are equally nice. I think it's just picking a color that you like. So it doesn't really matter that the colors have different names in different parts of the world. Sometimes bigger brands do that because they're like, oh, this name works better for Europeans and this name works better works better for North Americans. I I don't know why, but the formula is really beautiful and I can't get over how beautiful this eye look is. I I love it. Oh, so much. Let me put the other lash on. I have it right here. You're not supposed to blow in your lashes, I know. Trust me, I did not do that when I was doing makeup on others. Don't worry. I kind of want to add freckles. I know, I know it's not for everyone, but Colourpop has a really good, it's a really good freckle pen. It is called Freckle Pen. Ta -da! I think they come in different colors. I have soft brown. You can tell like when you look at my face that I have 
two beauty spots here and I have one here plus I have this little action here so I was thinking maybe boop, maybe if we start with this I have a little one here just that alone is like stunning but let's let's add a little shall we I'm not gonna add too much I promise I'm gonna I say that now, but why you don't see? I know the freckles are not for everyone, but at least I added it in the last minute. So if you want to skip freckles, I just feel like when you're having a very light coverage foundation, this is a sheer coverage tinted moisturizer with a powder on top that has a little bit of coverage. I just feel like freckles is so cute and I love having a very light coverage foundation and a dramatic eye look. It's just one of my favorites. I will link everything down below that I'm using. Thank you and Colourpop for sponsoring parts of this video. I am truly a Colourpop fan. So this is, I, I feel like I'm a little bit starstruck by myself at this point, but yeah, I'm just very, very excited. And yeah, let me know if you would like to me to do like an updated best and worst of Colourpop, maybe my top favorite palettes or top favorite products from Colourpop. That could be fun because they've released a lot of things lately that I have been really, really enjoying. And yeah, leave me your comments down below. I hope you're having an amazing day. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you again tomorrow for a new video. Bye.